good evening in the last lecture we discussed formula for some of the first n terms of geometric progression uh, i think uh, we have completed first four sums of exercise 2. Point, exercise 2.2 I, i guess yes now fifth one this is an important type find the sum to n terms first part 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 3 3 plus 3 3 3 3 I hope you will not say that these terms are in GP. These terms are neither in AP nor in GP. So the main job here is to express this as sum of GP or sum of AP or first part GP, second part AP like that. So the working rule is simple. Uh, let me explain. Take this number common. Whatever may be the whatever may be this number. If it is already one, fine. But if it is other than one, take that number common. Now, are the terms in bracket in GP or AP? No, they are not. So the next rule is take one by nine common. Now you will ask me, sir, why one by nine? The reason is simple. Terms as they are are neither in AP nor in GP. To obtain in that form, we have to do this. Now, what will be in bracket? See. To take 1 by 9 common means to multiply each by 9. I hope you are getting this. You can check this. 3 upon 9 into 9. 3. See, we have to write the same. The only thing is we can write it in different form. So 9 plus 9, 9 plus triple 9 up to n terms. See, this is not at all difficult in terms. Okay. Now the next step. This is nothing but now 3 upon 9, I will write as it is. Later, I can change it to 1 by 3. Now, the most important step, I write the, this number 9 as 10 minus 1. What about 99? 100 minus 1. What about triple 9? 1000 minus 1 up to n brackets. Instead of terms, I will say brackets. Next step, this is nothing but 3 upon 9. Now I will divide this into two sets. First set, 10 plus 100, okay, plus 1000 to n terms. Now, what is the speciality of these? These numbers are in geometric progression for which ready-made formula is there. Now, next set is minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. I take minus sign common. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1, how many times? Instead of terms, I will say n times. Now, each sum can be obtained. Why? 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times is what? n. There is ready-made formula. These terms are in GP with first term 10. And what is the common ratio? 100 upon 10, that is 10 only. Uh, in exam, it is better if you uh, mention this. In fact, if you want full marks and everybody uh, wants full marks, then you have to mention that these terms are in GP with small a equal to 10, r equal to 10. That is why this one. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times is n. Now, uh, 10 minus 1 is 9. LCM is 9. So what is numerator? 10 into 10 raised to n minus 1 up minus 9n. Now this 1 upon 9, you can take outside the bracket. So 3 upon 81, 9, 9, 81. 3 upon 81 is 1 by 27. Now second sum, 8 plus 88 plus 888 plus 8,888 and so on. See, the working rule is simple. Basically, these terms as they are, are neither in AP nor in GP, right? So to write or to make these terms in AP or GP, we have to make some arrangements. And that arrangement is take 8 common. In the previous, it was 3. So if had it been 4, I would have taken 4 common. So in bracket, if you take 8 common, you get 1 plus 1, 1 plus triple 1 and so on. Are these terms in AP or GP? No. So for 1, we should have 9. For 11, 99. So in short, you have to take 1 by 9 common. So it becomes 8 by 9. 
Now, when we take something common, we divide. So one upon one upon nine is what? Nine. You can check. Open the bracket. Eight upon nine into nine is eight. Eight upon nine into ninety-nine is eighty-eight, and so on. Again, these terms are neither in AP nor in GP. So nine is to be written as ten minus one. Why? Then only we get the answer. Ninety-nine is hundred minus one. Triple nine is thousand minus one, and so on. Now we make two brackets. Uh, we make two brackets. This should be eight. So in the first bracket, what we write? Ten plus hundred plus thousand to n terms. Take minus n common. So one plus one plus one. How many times? N times. Clearly, see the cursor. This is n. Ten, hundred, thousand are in geometric progression with first term ten. Common ratio is also ten. So we can easily obtain this. So what is the final answer? Eight by nine formula a into r s two n minus one upon r minus one minus uh, this is n. So ten minus one is nine. LCM is nine. So ten into ten raised to n minus one minus nine n upon nine. I have taken one by nine outside the bracket. So eight by eighty one into ten into ten raised to n minus one minus nine n. Sum number six. Find the sum to n terms. This type is also important. Point four plus point four four plus point triple four to n terms. Again, these terms are neither in AP nor in GP. So we have to make some arrangements. Take four common. Are these terms in AP or GP? No. Take one by nine common to get these. Again, are these terms in AP or GP? No. But I hope you won't say. This is one minus point one. This is ten minus point one. No, one minus point one. This is one minus point not one. One minus point not not one. Up to n bracket. Up to n brackets. Now one plus one plus one n times. That is n. Take minus sign common in bracket. You get point one plus point not one plus point not not one. Up to n terms. These are in geometric progression with first term. With first term point one, and what is the common ratio? To get common ratio, divide second term by first term. So point not one upon point one is point one. In exam, you are supposed to mention this; otherwise, you will not get full marks. So here I am writing n minus. This is point one. Then one minus point one raised to n upon one minus point one. One minus point one is point nine. So, what is the next step? It is four by nine. N minus point one upon point nine is one by nine. So, this is one minus point one raised to nine upon nine. Now, is it okay if I write four by eighty one directly? Because I have found LCM as nine, then one by nine outside the bracket. So this is nine n. Okay, nine n uh, minus. Here also you can open the bracket minus one plus point one raised to n. Right now. Seventh, find the sum to n terms of the sequence. This is straightforward sum. Point five, point not five, point not not five are in GP. In exam, you are supposed to write this. A is point five. What is R? Second term upon first term. That is point one. So A one minus R is two n upon one minus R. Substitute the values. Five by nine. One minus point one raised to n. So. Second for homework. Can you tell me the answer for this? Should be able to solve this orally. It will be just two by nine, one minus point one raised to n. Sum number eight for a sequence. If S n is two into three raised to n minus one, 
find the n term hence show that sequence is a geometric progression now how to prove that sequence is gp a sequence is gp if tn plus 1 upon tn is constant so the main job is to get tn and what is tn it is sn minus sn minus 1 common sense sn is what t1 plus t2 plus t3 up to tn and what is sn minus 1 t1 plus t2 plus t3 up to tn minus 1 so difference gives tn simple now this is sn how to get sn minus 1 replace every n by n minus 1 here is in, in the index so replace index by n minus 1 difference take two common to get this in bracket now 3 raised to n is 3 into 3 raised to n minus 1. Why to write like this? So that we can take 3 raised to n minus 1 common. We have to simplify this. So take 3 raised to n minus 1 common. In bracket, you get 3 minus 1. Because when you take this common, you divide this by the same. So 1, 3 minus 1, 2, 2, 2, 4. This is Tn. What is Tn plus 1? Replace every n by n plus 1. So n plus 1 minus 1, that is, what is tn plus 1? 4 into 3 raised to n. Now, tn plus 1 upon tn is 4 into 3 raised to n divided by 4 into 3 raised to n minus 1. Laws of indices. Basically, 4 gets cancelled. So, n minus in bracket n minus 1. What is difficult? Geometric progression? No. Laws of indices. So, 3 raised to n minus n plus 1. 3 raised to 1 equal to 3, which is a constant. Which is a constant. Therefore, sequence is GP. Okay. Now, many students ask me, sir, it, it will always be a constant, not necessarily. Suppose the ratio comes out to be 3n. Let me explain. 3n. Sum out. <coughs> I'm sorry. Sum out 3n. Then when n changes, for n equal to 1 ratio 3 for n equal to 2 ratio 6. So the ratio of two consecutive terms is not constant. But in this case it is. Put n equal to 1 t2 upon t1 3. Put n equal to 2 t3 upon t2 3. Put n equal to 99 t100 upon t99 3. Yes, it is constant. So sequence is geometric progression. Uh, let me explain first, but please do write the solution after the lecture because this can be asked as a D group sum D means difficult, or you may call it as HOTS, higher order thinking skill sum. If SPR are the sum, product, and sum of the reciprocals of n terms of a GP respectively, then verify that S upon R raised to n equal to P square solution. Let A be the first term and R be the common ratio of GP. S is sum. So A into R is 12 minus 1 upon R minus 1. Now you may ask me, sir, why this? Why not A into 1 minus R is 12 upon 1 minus R? I have told you this at least 10 times. If you want, you can go for that formula because they are the same. See, saying A upon, let me write this, saying a upon 1 minus r is the same as saying minus a upon r minus 1. r is too different. No, they are the same. Okay. According to them, what is p product? a into a r into a r square up to this. Now, a into a into a how many times? n times, so a raised to n. Now, what are, what is the index? 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1. Note that 1, 2, 3, up to n minus 1 are in arithmetic progression. First term is 1. Common difference is 1. I hope you remember the formula. 
n upon 2 n means number of terms which in this case is not n n minus 1 so n minus 1 upon 2 2 a a means first term which is 1 plus number of terms minus 1 so n minus 1 minus 1 into common difference which is 1 okay so this is n minus 1 upon 2 into 2 plus n minus 2 on simplification you get this so what is p product a raised to n into r raised to n n minus 1 upon 2. According to them, r is sum of reciprocals. So these are the reciprocals. Okay. Now, I have written this directly. I hope you understand this. Again, these terms are in GP. These terms are in GP. And what is their sum? Okay. I'll explain this once again. <clears throat> what is LCM of this? I'll explain. Don't worry. What is LCM of this? ARS to n minus 1. So what is numerator? Common denominator is to be divided by denominator of the first. So R is to n minus 1. Then R is to n minus 2. Up to what? Up to 1. Note that. See the cursor. These terms are in geometric progression with first term 1 and common ratio is R Right? So, what is the sum? R is to n minus 1 upon R minus 1. Because formula is A into R is to n minus 1 upon R minus 1. So, what is capital R then? Sum of the reciprocals. R is to n minus 1 upon R minus 1. This as it is. Now, we are asked to verify that S upon R is to n. So, what is S? This is S upon R. Now, 1 upon r. So, this goes to numerator. I hope uh, you remember this. a upon b. Okay, I share that also. See, what is difficult? This basic thing. a upon b upon c upon d is what? a upon b into d upon c. That is why you will see this term in the numerator. Raise to n. Now, what gets cancelled? R raised to n minus 1 gets cancelled. R minus 1 gets cancelled. So, what remains? A, A, that is A square, R raised to n minus 1. Raised to n, A raised to m raised to n is A raised to mn. So, A raised to 2n into R raised to n into n minus 1. Just a minute. Now, can I say, see the cursor, can I say, this is square of what this just verify. You can check a raised to n square, a raised to 2n. R raised to n into n minus 1 upon 2 square, a raised to m, raised to n, a raised to mn. Yes. But why to write like this? Because this is nothing but product. So we have verified that s upon r raised to n is nothing but p square. If Sn, S2n, S3n are the sums of sum of n, 2n, 3n terms of a GP respectively, then verify that Sn, S3n minus S2n is equal to S2n minus Sn whole bracket square. Very good. Uh, write the solution. Let A be the first term, small a. See, I have seen students. When I say small a, I have seen students <laughs> writing small a. And they want COEP. God. Right down. Let a, small a, let a be the first term and r be the common ratio of the GP. Common ratio of the GP. Now tell me. What will be Sn? Write down. Sn is A into R raised to N minus 1 upon R minus 1. It is given. What will be S to N? Sum of the first two N terms. The only change is N is to be replaced by 2N. So R is to 2N minus 1 upon R minus 1. Write down. What will be S3N? It will be A R is to 3 n. Remember, minus 1 is not in the index. Okay. So this is S3 n. Right.
Okay, so what is S two n minus S n? Substitute. What can be taken common? A upon R minus one. You get this in bracket. Now R S two two n is R S two n into R S two n. So if I take R S two n common, I get R S two n minus one in bracket. So what is square of this? So a square. I hope you won't say square of R S two n is R S two n square. No, R S two two n. Okay. Now rearrange the terms. So a into r s two n minus one upon r minus one into this. See, I have written the same, and I have to. I have to write the same thing, but in this form. Why? Because note that this is s n. Okay, into this. Now a upon r minus one. Open the bracket. R s two two n into r s two n is r s two three n minus r s two two n. Note that I have to prove that s two n minus s n square. Is S n into what S three n, and for that we have to make some arrangement. Subtract one, add one. I have written the same, but in required form. Now open the bracket. So A into R S two three n minus one upon R minus one minus A into R S two two n minus one upon R minus one. Note that this is S three n and this is S two n. Is the result? Sum number eleven. Find will be doing first part. Sigma three into two raised to r. R goes from one to ten. Actually, uh, they should have asked this sum in the next exercise because in that first sigma notation is explained. But uh, I hope you have done this in statistics. So I'll explain the solution. Three is constant. Now sigma stands for <coughs> summation, sum of. So lower limit is one. Put r equal to one. Sigma stands for summation. So plus next value of r two up to ten. So two raised to one plus two raised to two up to two raised to ten. Now these terms are in geometric progression with first term two common ratio two. Formula is there. Apply that. Two raised to ten is one zero two four less one into six. So six one three eight is the answer. Second for homework. Now you will ask me, can are we supposed to find three raised to ten? No, you need not. Right answer in this form. Sum number twelve. The value of a house appreciates five percent per year. How much is the house worth after six years if the current worth is rupees fifteen lakh? Oh, values are given. I'm sorry. Uh, you need not use log tables. Uh, they have given 1.05 is to 5. Why? Because we don't require that. Anyway, we are given 1.05 is to 6 also. Good. Otherwise, if this is not given, uh, use of log tables is allowed in board exam, but not allowed in CET and JEE mains. Okay. Uh, see, the current worth of the house is uh, rupees 15 lakh, and it appreciates 5 percent per year, right? So uh, the values of the house in Successive years, they form a geometric progression, right? Uh, actually, I have directly written a equal to. Uh, it is better if you say that the value, the value of the house in successive year, every successive years form a GP. Uh, you have to mention this that value of house form a GP. Then say a equal to fifteen lakh, and what is R? One plus five percent. Had it been eight percent, I would have written one plus eight by hundred. Okay, so one point not five. So what is the value of the house after six years? It is not T six after six years. So T seven. That is A R S two seven minus one. That is A R S two six. Now it is one point zero five raised to six. It is given to be one point three four. So tell me the product. Twenty point one lakh. Don't say L S C K. L S C. So twenty point one lakh rupees. I think thirteenth uh, is also similar. So can you? No, no, no. Uh, in that case, yeah, you are asked to find how long does it take. Okay, 
no no we'll solve this in the next lecture so that's it for today